Hey guys, next quick health tip today. And this morning I want to talk about conditioned food beliefs. Uh, the reason I'm bringing this up, Cooper and I were just eating some breakfast and he gets up, has his little bottle of uh, a homemade formula from Sally Fallon uh, Nurturing Traditions. It's more just again to hydrate uh, first thing in the day. And then I usually make a shake of some sort and have some food and this kid loves to eat it. And the reason I'm bringing it up today though too, not so much because of the shake, more because of, he had sardines this morning for the first time. So I had some sardines out and I was eating them and he started just reaching out a little bit. So I took some on the, the spoon that I was eating on the fork that I was eating. So we still have to say hi to the trees every morning here. And housed it. Usually the first time he tries something he does his like, little bit of a funny face didn't even do it today just open like chomped down on it opened right up for the next one morning tree he was just ready to go and like I mean out of them there there's I, I had some canned ones today uh, he probably ate an entire sardine uh, at least three quarters of one probably he did very well either way the point I want to get to with this is do you not eat a food because it doesn't feel good for you or is it that conditioned belief that you don't think it tastes good and it's fine I mean I'm not saying oh you have everybody has to eat sardines or everybody has to eat organ meats anything like that but I would encourage you to try it and do so with probably a better recipe where it's going to taste good so that you're not turned off from it immediately because you've been told that it shouldn't taste good that it should be slimy that it should be gross whatever it is but have you tried it? And that's what I really encourage you to do is these, these foods that are commonly like, like just look down upon because of what they are rather than tasted and really tried to enjoy. Because again, nobody told him that this shouldn't taste good, that people really don't like sardines or very few people, few people do, or we're gonna try organ meats. And actually he has had some liver before. We're gonna try some other stuff and see, see what he thinks of it again because it's important to let him make these decisions and for others not to bias them. I don't want to tell him that he should or should not like something just because of what it is. No, it should be his decision to try something, to taste something and come up with his own decision rather than being influenced by others. And you may be 30 years old I mean, maybe 60 years old, you may be 90 years old, and if you've been told that something shouldn't taste good all your life, you might actually enjoy it, but you've been conditioned to believe that you shouldn't enjoy it. So again, I want you to explore that. Try that out, see how it goes. You might find a whole variety of foods open up for you, and I'm talking ones that are just jam-packed with nutrition to really take that health to the next level.